Hello and welcome to this video in which I will show you the shapes used in the blues progression that has just been played. The chords you've just heard are examples of shapes that can be created from one of the string sets in my latest online guitar course. The link to the course which is called Mastering Chords and Chord Substitution is in the description to this video. So if you are looking for a structured method on how to drastically increase your chord repertoire and harmonic knowledge in any style of music then be sure to click on the link and check it out. Once you have these chord shapes under your fingers, there's an almost infinite amount of variations that can be made by varying the rhythms and the addition of single note melodies. Variations can quite easily be made by identifying chords of the same type and swapping them with each other. So learn the example and then experiment. All of the chords in this example are played on the top four strings. So we're gonna start off with an A dominant nine chord, followed by an A dominant seven with a sharp five and a sharp nine. Now many of these chords you could actually add a low bass note to it on your low E string or A string. For instance the first chord, the A9, I could put the A on fret 5 in my thick string and also on the A dominant 7 sharp 5 sharp 9 if you need the bass and a fatter sound. Carrying on we're going to go to a D dominant 9 chord followed by a D sharp diminished 7th chord. Often in a blues if you go to, from the D7 back to the A7 you can in between put a D sharp diminished seventh chord in. Then we're gonna to go to an A dominant 13 chord. Interesting voicing. To a straightforward A dominant seven. Then an A 13. And again, this is a good contender for adding a bass note on the A string on fret 12. Then we have an A dominant seven with a sharp five and a flat nine. Going to a D 13 chord. And again, good contender for bass note. D9. Back to our D sharp diminished seventh chord. Any diminished seventh chord can move three fret jumps. So I can move from fret seven down to fret four. Back to the A7 chord. Then an A dominant 13. Straight forward A7. Then A9. E9, then a basic E7, back to our D13, which is the same shape as we had the A13 higher, so I could put the bass notes on here if I want. Then again, we're going to go to a diminished seventh chord, D sharp diminished seventh, followed by the A13, then an A7. Then E dominant seven with a sharp five and a sharp nine. Followed by E dominant seven with a sharp five and a flat nine. Finishing on our A13, which again you could put the bass note in. So all these chords with the bass note, if you wanna play a faster sounding progression, I could just move these individual chords around. So for instance, when I want the A13, I can then just move up to the D13. Then when I Need it the E13, D13, back to the A13. Simply learning chord shapes will give you technical challenges, although for new materials such as the example given in this video to be truly useful, it is essential that you understand how the chords are constructed and the harmonic concepts behind why those particular shapes have been chosen. If you did enjoy this video, then please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Any support from my channel is deeply appreciated. I will be uploading similar videos to this soon as they will provide supplemental material for my online course and will hopefully also be helpful to anybody just looking for new chord ideas. So bye for now.